The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our lord and master Darth Barris bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet, and help you track down the Jedi Master Yanlok. Just tell me where to find the Jedi. It is not such a simple matter. You will find Master Yanlok by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. Maybe the demon was not in its lair. I thought that as well. The Sand Demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing, its skin was glistening. That is very confusing. Was it bleeding? Not blood as from a wound. More like the layer of living gel one is born into the world covered in. What happened in that cave is a mystery. As is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. Isabo Jeef. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. Better not be a waste of time. If anyone can deduce why the Padawan sought the Sand Demon, it is he. It will not be easy to speak with Jeef. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. Thanks for looking out for me. I'm invested in seeing you succeed, and I will meet you at Isabeau Jeef's. weeping, and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sins. I think you mean from the heat of our sons, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. Sorry if I tracked blood in on your floor. The world is an hourglass, ever being turned. The sands wipe away all traces of the past. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. You see it correctly. My eyes may be aged and failing, but my mind sees. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh sand demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, the Savage Ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. According to Shark, the Padawan did not slay the beast. There must be another way to bathe the beast of blood, but you have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, You'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. It's not much to go on, but it will do. That is everything I have. Alright. This looks like monsters. Agitated Raid. Hopefully these aren't too hard. <laughs> Looks like the true dinosaur. Alright, ladies and gents, I just whipped my way through a bunch of monsters, and for some reason, I feel as if this is going to be a boss scene. I mean, 
look at that. Look how much space there is. And my job is to um, kill this sand demon. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. So. This is the sand demon. But I have a feeling something else is going to happen. I don't know. Let's see. The ancient sand demon is far cornered off the cavern. <clears throat> Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. I'll make you feel better later. Uh, we're about to face a monster that can swallow us whole. I'm thinking, if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? We'll see, Vet. I'll try. That's all I ask. Thank you. Looks like it's showtime. The monsters caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if those back. Sending is clearly sense to your intrusion. You sense that it will attack you instantly. I yield to you, demon. literally bathe in it, I would have waited outside. And the smell. Oh, Kag, we're gonna stink for days. <sighs> what if it never wears off? It will be all right, Vet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink I pit, huh? Woman with good hygiene. Calm yourself, Vet. Okay. I'm trying. Beast has been slain. I only died once, so that wasn't too bad. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The sand people all ran from you. What transpired inside the sand demon cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the sand people approaches. Tuscan Raider! Pat cowers and grunts, he bows before you. Enough of this. It didn't even attempt to defend itself. I've never seen one of its kind be so passive. This parchment the sand person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine, and there is no such door. 
If this is where the Padawan went, I must follow. I shudder to think what awaits you there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the Dune's shadows. Think first of your own safety, and do not follow if it becomes too harrowing. Your concern is appreciated. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey. Ooh, I got new armor legs. a mirage or a trap set by a nasty underwater monster. You have lost your way, Dark One, but I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. It's going to be a shame ruining your good looks. By embracing the dark, you are already ruining yourself. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I don't live in a fantasy world. Trust is an illusion. Someone who only knows darkness, it would seem so. You see, the dark side seeks to subjugate the Force. It treats the Force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the Force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. I have no interest in clarity and peace. Then you are blind to where true power resides. Look at our master. If the dark is so potent, why is Darth Barriss deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a dark side master. That's why I'm going to destroy her. If you refuse the light, you must strike me down. Do you have it in you to kill part of yourself? I will eradicate all lightness in the galaxy. Come then, take me on. You will discover the light inside you can't be vanquished. strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Tell me more of this. There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yonlock beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? Tell me everything you know about this place. I am chilled to the bone. The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! 
Even the sand people dare not go. You mustn't go. The opposite is true. I must. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. You've done enough, Shark. Thank you. That is... kind of you to say. I told Lord Barris I would see your mission through. But I never imagined it would come to this. With a heavy heart, I give you the location of the Forbidden Pass. I am shamed that my cowardice paralyzes me. I fear I will never see you again. I should be so lucky. Get out of my sight. Of course. I deserve your disdain. My spirit is broken. I will return to your spaceport and inform Darth Barris of this development. I bid you goodbye. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. I've been watching you, Sith. In coming here, you have adulterated the journey of enlightenment and made a mockery of the Jedi way. I know why you've come. Master Noman Kar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. I'll see to it she never breathes another word. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I'll remain here until I kick sand on your corpse. Now it is clear to me you cannot be redeemed. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. Uh, <clears throat> color me nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged, card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li, but I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. I tire of all this chatter. Time for you to die. Give no quarter, Yu Li. We fight to defend the Shark Padawan. Sith. I beg you. You lead. Stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yonlock. Remarkable. 
I'm sorry, Master Yonlock. But I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Noman Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaisa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You are filled with presumptions, Yonlark. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jace will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There is no death. Only... the Force. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Were you hoping I would lose, Twi'lek? Are you kidding? And be stuck on this overheated rock? I'd much rather be with you, believe me. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. She will be surprised to see us. I'll practice my smug look on the way there. Right here we are in the Tatooine hangar, about to leave the planet of Tatooine to go to Alderaan. Not wait, finally get off this dust bowl. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. I don't care what you do. It is my great shame that I have not endeared myself to you. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'm going to forget I ever met you. Even the dunes change their shape over time. Perhaps one day you'll think of me differently. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. Oh, date. You have done admirably, apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan, Jason Wilson, no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. Make sure the engraver for her tombstone has the name spelled right. No, no. There will be no evidence of her existence. She will be buried in an unmarked grave. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jason Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master, and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I believe that moment is rushing toward us. Only Alderaan remains. Jaisa Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive. Now, for those of you who don't know from Star Wars, Alderaan was the planet that got blown up by the Death Star in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. So, this is thousands of years before. Apprentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet, where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. It is a certainty. I hope your results will confirm your confidence. 
Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jason Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. So, I have to mop up your mess. Take care not to become one of my messes yourself, apprentice. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. <laughs>